Well, if you live in Charleston or Dorchester counties, listen up. The results for the South Carolina Senate District 42 seat race are in, and it was a close one. Skyler Hill joins us at the desk, and Skyler, no candidate received more than 50% of the vote, so what happens now? So state law says the top two finishers in the race will likely advance to a runoff election in two weeks on September 19th. Tonight's special election was between three current state representatives, so Wendell Gilliard, Deion Tedder, and J.A. Moore. The names that will likely be on the ballot are Gilliard and Tedder. Tonight's unofficial results show Gilliard garnered 46.63% 46 of the votes, while Tedder had 38.59% and Moore received 14.78%. Being in the runoff uh, with a 20 plus year veteran, uh, potentially, you know, I mean, that says a lot. It speaks volumes to our momentum, uh, to the community, and, and what the people want. That knowing that they had outspent us five to one with huge commercials. And we, I choose not to go there because I wanted to keep it grassroots, knocking on doors, talking to people, going into places like we've been doing all along. We're not going to stop. We also reached out to Representative Moore, but he didn't get back with us. Both Gilliard and Tedder are encouraging people to come out to the polls just one more time. Yeah, so what, what we saw today was, uh, I, I think we, we saw the numbers that we expected as far as turnout, uh, voter turnout, but what we really saw at the end, and, and as we're getting the totals in from the precincts, is that uh, Charleston and Dorchester counties, uh, they're clearly ready for a new generation of leadership. More boots on the ground more door knocking, uh, getting the message out through technology, uh, but keeping it real by getting out into these civic organizations and talking with people, going into the communities, <laughs> etc. They know who to identify with, okay? Rosa Kay was the only Republican that filed to run for the vacancy, so she'll face off against the winner of the Democratic runoff in the general election on November 7th. Live in the studio, Skylar Hill, Live 5 News.